Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fluent Financials, What You Should Know for the week of April 25th. My name is Mike Lanise, and I'm your Portfolio Manager at Fluent Financial. This past week, hawkish comments from Fed Chairman Jerome Powell added fresh instability to an already fragile market, sending equity sinking into the weekend. Powell's remarks at the International Monetary Fund panel about front-end loading rate hikes fueled implications of a 75 basis point rate hike in June on top of the 50 basis points, which are already pretty much worked into the May meeting. A 75 basis point rate hike would be the largest single meeting hike since 1994, and this thought spooked markets. The NASDAQ lost almost 4% for the week, while the S&P lost 2.9%, and the Dow was down almost 2%. The volatility or fear index, known as the VIX, jumped to a five-week high near 28 last week and continued into the 30 handle to start this week. Nine of the 11 S&P sectors lost ground, led by a 7.75% decline in the communications sector. This was mostly due to Netflix dragging the sector lower, and it fell over 35% on its first subscriber drawdown in over 10 years. Interest rates slowed their ascent, but remained uncomfortably elevated, with the 10-year Treasury yield settling near 2.91%. Crude oil was off 5%, as growth concerns in the U.S. and globally outweighed more potential European sanctions on Russian oil. Looking at other economic news, U.S. business activity in April was mixed, with the manufacturing flash PMIs rising to a 7-month high, while services slid on pricing pressures. Housing data reflected the impact of sharply higher mortgage rates. Home builder confidence slumped for a fourth straight month, while starts for single-family homes tumbled in March. Existing home sales dropped 2.7% in March as the median sales price reached a record $375,000. Year-to-date, the Dow Jones Industrial is down over 7.5%. The S&P is down almost 11% and the NASDAQ is down almost 19%. Looking at the week ahead, markets will be looking for earnings coming out of the mega cap companies to confirm their current market pricing. Scheduled to report this week are Microsoft, Google, Facebook, PayPal, Apple, and Amazon. On the U.S. economic calendar, we have durable goods, consumer confidence, and new home sales all reporting on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have the U.S. trade balance, wholesale inventories, and pending home sales. And then Thursday, we get the first look at the Q1 gross domestic product, or GDP, with expectations for growth of just 1% after a 6.9% level in the previous quarter. Closing out the week, we have core PCE price index, and it's anticipated to show little evidence that headline inflation is slowing. Feel free to leave comments or questions to this post. Click the like button and share it if you felt that it was informative. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our FluentFinancial.com website for further information. As always, thank you for tuning in to What You Should Know and have a great week.